Hey everybody, I just wanted to do a follow-up video to show everyone the process of setting up a mixed reality headset on a Windows PC. So what's gonna happen is as soon as you plug your mixed reality headset into your computer, it's going to prompt and then download the Windows mixed reality software and it's gonna begin the setup process. Uh, it starts off by running a system check to make sure that your computer can use the headset first. The headset requires a USB 3.0 port to power it. The laptop I'm using in this video has two 2.0 ports and one 3.0 port and the program detected I was plugged into the wrong port and let me know. So even if you plug it into the wrong port, your computer is still going to go, hey, there's a mixed reality headset attached. Let's download the program and get this process going. But it's also going to tell you to plug it in somewhere else. And naturally, because I am the YouTube professional of all YouTube professionals, I plugged it into the wrong port twice before I plugged it into the right one. Additionally, the headset has an HDMI cable that needs to be attached to your computer's HDMI out in order to feed video to the headset. Uh, now I have the Lenovo Explorer mixed reality headset, but these steps are the same for all mixed reality headsets. Once you go through that process, it's gonna prompt you to link the VR wands to the computer using Bluetooth. Um, now, the, the controllers need batteries, which I did not have uh, readily available or next to me, so uh, we need a little movie magic. And uh, uh, I'm gonna get a couple double A's in here and, and put them into each of the controllers. All right, so I got the batteries in into the controllers, got them ready to go, no problem. Um, Again, they're Bluetooth connected, so the sync button, uh, the pair button, I should say, is underneath the battery cover. So just held those down. Uh, and as you can see, it prompts you when each one is connected and gives you a little status. Uh, the only problem I had there was a, I had trouble getting the left one uh, to connect initially. Uh, I fiddled about with it for a little bit, and then I just kind of I took the batteries out and put the batteries back in and then synced, and then eventually it did go. So that was about... A minute of messing around going eh, I can't get this to work uh, just note that you don't need to get a mixed reality headset with the wands you can some some of them are available without the wands and that includes the Lenovo Explorer um, and, and what will happen is you're not going to use the wands in all of the games there's just certain games and certain interactions that require the the, the VR wands in other ones like let's say Elite Dangerous where you can just go into a spaceship and fly around it will just put the visual part of it for you. And, and and there's several games like that where the VR doesn't require a wand. So you can skip this process completely if you're just looking to play games and not necessarily have an interactive VR experience where you're moving in space and what have you. You gotta love Windows and it's, uh, <laughs> it's notifications blocking the next button. Uh, I mean, I could have theoretically dismissed those notifications, but I was kind of be, you know, super delicate next button clicker guy. Now, one of the selling points of Windows Mixed Reality headsets is the fact that there's no other peripherals or sensors to set up. You just plug in the headset and all of the sensors that you need to detect the space around you are done by cameras in the headset that are detecting uh, where you are. So unlike an HTC Vive or an Oculus Rift, right? So HTC Vive has the two sensors that need to be uh, wall mounted, not necessarily wall mounted, but elevated, kind of looking down in the space to make uh, your play space. And the Oculus Rift, which started with one sensor, and I believe has now graduated to three sensors. Last time I saw an Oculus Rift, I only had one. So, so they, they too have began creating larger play spaces using sensors. So what the mixed reality headset does is it has you hold the headset just kind of as the sensor itself because all the sensors are in it and walk your rectangle or square of your play space it, it gives you the recommended uh size now um the, the space i'm in is not that big it's a what, is, what, what, what it's got like a all right six by uh six by ten rug in here uh and that's essentially the play space i marked out um oddly enough because i wasn't paying attention I did not actually click the button to start the sensor sensing the space. So I did a little silly carpet dance around the thing 
one whole time before I actually click the button and said start scanning for it to scan. But that that's what you do. You you walk in the square, say, hey, this is my play space. And the sensors in the helmet go, okay, this is the play space. This is center. We got it. Let's roll. Now, the, the Mixed Reality headset also gives you the option for, like, voice recognition. Um, just like everything else does these days. You got to, you know, talk to something. Cortana, Alexa, Siri. I, I opted to skip that setup. Um, it's the same setup that you go through when you uh, when you set up Cortana on your PC. It's the exact same thing to make you say a sentence and then it asks you, hey, do you want us to be listening to you forever? So I, I kind of, I, I skipped it. Um, I, I think it's probably something a lot of people are going to skip. Uh, but uh, after that, that, that would have been the last step if, if I had, you know, done it, but didn't want to. So without that, the setup is essentially complete. Um, the computer will update if, if the mixed reality software needs to be updated, if there's any like Lenovo headset specific things and it does that and you're set up and you're ready to rock and do mixed reality slash VR. Um, the setup overall, it took me and so this video, this entire video was in real time, right? The only thing I cut out um, was the batteries, was when I was looking for the batteries. So this video is roughly seven minutes long it took seven minutes to set up the mixed reality headset. And that included walking around in a circle when I didn't have to. Like I, there was a time I didn't click scan and I walked in a circle anyway. So with an extra circle walk, right? And and some uh, having to take the batteries in and out of the controller, um, the setup took seven minutes, including the final download. And then I was hooked up and I was ready and I, I went and did VR things. So that is how simple it is to set up a Windows Mixed Reality headset. Uh, it's no calibration. There's no sensors. To, uh, there's no sensors to set up. There's nothing to wall mount. Um, that's pretty much it. And uh, I've been in Mixed Reality ever since. So uh, thanks for watching. Um, if you guys have any questions on how it's going with the Lenovo, um, hit me up in the comments. I'll let you guys know. Uh, if you guys want to know how Steam VR works with the Mixed Reality headset, uh, I can do a video on that. Uh, if you guys want to know if you guys are on the fence on Mixed Reality as a VR platform. Because uh, I'm, I'm not 100% sure the name implies something else is happening. But I kind of think the name's a little gimmicky. These are essentially VR headsets. So if you have any questions on, on how sex up against the Vive or the, uh, the Oculus, uh, in my opinion. Well, I'll just tell you right now. It's on par. It, it's on par with those two things with way less setup. Uh, and also like eons above the, the mobile VR. I'm not a huge fan of mobile VR. So, uh, yeah. So if, uh, if you guys have any questions, let me know.